Hi, my name is Bateman Solms, and I'm going to talk to you guys about my fifth grade science project. Now, before my project, my dad came into my science class to talk to us about when he flew helicopters in the Army. And during that explanation, he told us about gyroscopic precession which is the rule that when any force is applied to a gyroscopic plane, in our case a wheel, um, it will occur 90 degrees later in the direction of rotation. And I thought, hey, that's really cool. <laughs> so, and my science teacher agreed with me. So she thought it would be a great idea. For science fair, I did gyroscopic precession. So I was trying to figure out a great way to demonstrate this. And my dad, my grandfather, and I were having lunch. And my grandfather was talking about when he was in Navy flight school and how he had um, seen this demonstration of gyroscopic precession, where a person was standing on a turntable with a wheel, and when they moved the wheel, their body would move, which I thought was a great idea. So at first, I started with a stroller wheel. And I tried it with a turntable, but there was too much friction. So I tried to do it with a stool. But the stroller wheel, stroller wheel, first of all, is too small. So it doesn't create a large enough gyroscopic plane to move my body. So I changed to a larger bicycle wheel, which I added weights to to increase the centrifugal force, which will make the wheel, the wheel have a larger reaction when I'm sitting on the stool. So we tried it with this, but the problem was that the stool did not spin easily enough. So I tried uh, taking the stool seat off and putting on the stroller wheel, which actually, although very uncomfortable, works very well. And so two hurdles crossed and then we had another problem. The wheel wouldn't spin fast enough to actually move my body. So um, I went to a bicycle stop with my dad to see if they had anything like that that could spin a wheel. And um, so we were looking at this thing where someone could pedal a bicycle on a stand, and there was this thing by the back wheel that looked like it might be able to spin the wheel. So we asked about that, and they said that it was a resistance mechanism. So, and right next to it, there was a fan to keep the people cool. And my dad and I thought, well, isn't that a great idea? We could just use a fan. So right here, um, we actually melted the fan blades off of the fan and took off the top half of the fan so it would, so when you put the wheel on it, it would spin. So when you turn this on, it spins really fast, and then when you put the wheel on it, sitting on this, it will actually spin you. So that is how I made all my stuff for my, gy for my project on gyroscopic accession. Hi, my name is Bateman Solms and I'm doing a science project on gyroscopic precession. So gyroscopic precession is the rule that whenever a force is applied to a gyroscopic plane, which in our case is a wheel, then it, the resulting force will happen 90 degrees later in the direction of rotation. So when I try and balance the wheel on my finger, it just drops. But when I spin it, I can balance it on my finger because of the gyroscopic plane. Because I spin the wheel right, and I'm moving left, which makes the wheel want to go up. And that keeps it, 
and that is what keeps it on my finger. Hi, my name is Bateman Solms, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of gyroscopic precession, which is my fifth grade science project. Now, gyroscopic precession is the rule in a gyroscopic plane, in our case a bicycle wheel, that any input or the applied force will occur 90 degrees later in the direction of rotation. Now, I have added weights to my wheel to increase the centrifugal force, which will increase the reaction of a gyroscopic plane, which will spin me, or rotate me. Now, I'm going to demonstrate gyroscopic precession. What you just saw was the applied force, or me moving the gyroscope up or down. The resulting force was me moving either left or right. This is a demonstration of gyroscopic precession. What? <laughs>